Bowsia Kuzinja. Yes, the name is Balthazar Garzan, that damned judge from Spain who thinks that there are no frontiers for war criminals, and that meddling Natasha Kandik from Serbia, and Maria Teresa Tula from El Salvador, who was arrested so many times and threatened so many times, and just wouldn't stop. She just wouldn't stop looking for the disappeared. And Shinal Sarihan bringing flowers to the children who were detained in the Turkish prisons, and Václav Havel, and all those names. Names we won't forget, not me. Others will forget these names. They're already fading from memory, those names, in spite of the triumphant, defiant finale. If we don't do this work, who will? The light's on them now, and the applause about to start and surround and caress them. The lights that begin to dim go out one by one as the audience goes home. The spectators flick on their TV set back home, and a faraway face, perhaps one of these very faces, flares up in pain and then dies down, and it's time for dinner, and it's time for sleep. Finally, them and us again. Them and me. Them and me all over again. Aware that out there, beyond us, beyond even these dim lights, are the others. The ones who have never had a spotlight, whose names even I don't know, couldn't care less about the expendable others beyond the lights, their voices never recorded or transcribed, their bodies beyond invisibility, them and us, them and me again, sharing, sharing, in the deepest recesses of the night, sharing this one scrap of knowledge. I am waiting here with this knowledge. I also know how to wait. My turn always comes. I also know what it is to wait in the dark. My name is Hafez Al Sayed Seda. My name is Patria Jimenez. My name is Oscar Arias Sanchez. My name is Vera Stromskaya. My name is Eli Wiesel. My name is Rigoberta Menchu Tum. My name is. My name is. I cannot reveal my name. I am from the Sudan. My parents taught us as children how to love our people, however simple, however poor. Our home was always a busy home. We always had somebody who was sick coming for treatment or giving birth in our house. I learned to regard all the Sudanese as my own family. But I cannot reveal my name. Those whom the government suspects of working on human rights are arrested, often tortured in ghost houses, or, if one is lucky, put in prison. If I revealed my name, I could not work. Anything else would have tasted like ashes. That's what you know. The poor of the world are crying out for schools and doctors, not generals and guns. You just have to believe in what you're doing, that's all. I was never alone. That's what you know. Something is there. A light is there. I did what I had to do. Did it take courage? It took stubbornness. Stubbornness, like a metal cord inside. And so we continue, knowing this. Knowing this. If we bring people to their own best hearts, they will respond. That's what you know. I don't want to pretend I was a hero. I did what I had to do, that's all. We did what we had to do. The work has just begun.